Muhammad Lincoln. When B.F. Harris went to Washington in 1861, it was to encourage his longtime friend Abraham Lincoln in his war efforts. Harris also visited with Mary Todd Lincoln and the boys and attended a cabinet meeting during his visit to the na nation's capital. When in Middletown, Muhammad, Lincoln dined at the Harris home, situated south and west of the town. Lincoln undoubtedly banked at the cattle bank in Champaign, a bank in which B.F. Harris was a silent partner. Later, Harris would begin the first national bank of Champaign. B.F. Harris arrived in Champaign County before the tall grass prairie could easily be plowed. Harris's fortune was made by profitably grazing cattle on the same unyielding prairie. He accumulated large land holdings in Pyatt and Champaign counties and was known throughout the county for his prized steers, which he himself drove on the foot on foot from Champaign County to Pennsylvania and New York. When he died in 1905, the Pittsburgh Livestock Journal referred to him as the grand old man of the livestock trade, the oldest and most successful cattle feeder in the world. B.F. Harris brought the first mower, reaper, carriage, organ, and cooking stove to Champaign County. When Middletown Muhammad needed a doctor, he traveled to Ohio to learn a bit of the physician's art and bring home medicines. He also introduced the first sawmill and brought the necessary workers to run it in order to build his frame house in which Lincoln visited from 1852 to 1854. And this photograph up here was courtesy of the Early American Museum, Champaign County Forest Preserve District. And this photograph here is courtesy of the Library of Congress, and of course it's Abraham Lincoln. B.F. Harris was not the only early Middletown Muhammad resident that Abraham Lincoln personally knew. B.F. Harris, along with Thomas Davidson, Hezekiah Felipe, Wiley Davis, John C. Kilgore, and James Fisher helped to start the First Methodist Church in Middletown, Muhammad, the Bethel Church on Harris's farm. Some of these early church founders had heard the evangelist Peter Cartwright speak at the headwaters of the Sangamon in the 1830s. Peter Cartwright, Peter Cartwright vehemently opposed Lincoln's bid for the United States House of Representatives because Lincoln was not a churchgoer. By way of defense, Lincoln replied that he never denied the truth of the scriptures. This photograph is courtesy of the Early American Museum Champaign County Forest Preserve District and it's a photograph of Peter Cartwright.